Hi, I'm Bill. I invented the bug out bungalow you see behind me. Um, what makes it unique is it's made out of eight triangle roof pieces. I use a SIPS system, a structural insulated panel. And uh, also I incorporated some uh, more modern technology for the actual roofing. That's a single ply commercial roofing. That's a TPO. It's also available in a PVC. Uh, has up to 30 year warranty. And it's what actually made the structure work because the roof was a, a problem until I came up with this idea of using this product. I'm real happy with it. It's paintable and uh, it's uh, portable. It can be taken off and uh, rolled up and moved and I'll uh, do a demonstration of that later. This particular model is uh, three quarters of an inch thick insulation. Uh, that gives you about an R3. I'll also make them an uh, inch and a half thick. Uh, this model is meant to be lightweight and portable, and so I've gone with a lightweight panel, and I'm real happy that it's real strong, and uh, it's gonna be efficient in that it's a small uh, volume of space to be uh, conditioning, whether heating or cooling. So that should, uh, even though the insulation isn't the greatest, uh, this entire building fits on the back of a standard Toyota pickup, and I'll be demonstrating that. <clears throat> Door and window openings are set up for standard off-the-shelf uh, windows you buy in one of your uh, big warehouse type uh, uh, home improvement stores. That's set up for a 32 inch pre-hung uh, pre door, exterior door, uh, pop right in there. Uh, windows come in either a 30 inch by 36 inch or a uh, 30 inch by 48 inch uh, window opening. And then uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's 120 square feet on this model. Uh, shouldn't need a building permit. I, I'll have bigger models, but uh, then you run into permit problems. So I'm not concentrating that right now. And uh, this is a bug out bungalow. One of the things I'd really like to point out about this structure, it's low cost. Of course, its portability is very important, but the low cost is about $30 a square foot, and that's for basically habitable space. Uh, the insulation is only R3, and uh, that's not including the doors and windows. Uh, this particular model, 120 square feet, a point of manufacture, I can supply them for about uh, $3,000 a unit. Uh, depending on what kind of upgrades or trim packages, uh, what kind of finishes you might want, but uh, basically uh, use that as a starting point. $30 square foot. This model, uh, bare model out of the factory, that includes the roofing and uh, uh, some paint and uh, some interior finish. Uh, linseed oil is what I've been using, which I uh, certainly like. It's environmentally friendly. And I can uh, get this unit out of the factory at $3,000, and that's uh, basically habitable space. By the time you uh, pay for a set of costs and shipping and uh, whatever preparations you might need in your yard, you're probably looking at, let's say, $4,500. Uh, that would include your doors and windows. So you got a setup fee, whatever you use for a floor. I'm not supplying floors right now. There's no, uh, that's basic technology. This one's on the dirt, and I put down some uh, plastic and then a rug over it and uh, for temporary use. And that's working just fine. Uh, I would assume you want a more permanent foundation, either wood or, uh, possibly concrete or uh, but it could go directly on the ground no problem uh, just put set up on some pressure treated wood ideally um, so anyway if we start uh, factoring solar systems uh, composting toilets some water systems photovoltaics whatnot uh, we're looking at uh, like fifty dollars a square foot initially to get habitable space and then as you add on more footage which is what I would do is add another unit on instead of trying to go with anything bigger. And then you can bring that cost per square foot down. So basically, I can provide habitable space with sanitation and water uh, with this type of structure for under $50 a square foot. And uh, I, I think that's hard to beat. And uh, depending on how much you can do yourself and you're willing to supply yourself, you can uh, bring it down even lower than that. And this thing assembles in a matter of hours and can be moved. So that's a bug out bungalow. The inside of a bug out bungalow. See the peaked roof? The height is nine foot six, approximately at least. 
pre-paneled inside, it's insulated. That R3, three and eight quarters of an inch of styrofoam. These walls have been painted, which I kind of like. Same paneling though. Sometimes the wood seems a little bit much when there's nothing to break it up. But the wood looks cool too. Anyway, that's bug out bungalow inside. In this clip, I'm going to disassemble this structure. It's a 120 square foot bug out bungalow. I'm going to uh, do it in time lapse photography, and I'm expecting it to take uh, well under two, two hours, uh, possibly as short as uh, an hour. And uh, this is the first time I've disassembled one in its entirety. And I'll load it on this uh, standard bed Toyota pickup, and you can watch me load it. So, uh, you know, to verify what I said that this uh, building is easily moved on a compact pickup. This is an entire 120 square foot bug out bungalow loaded onto a compact pickup truck. This is the roofing, trim, interior and exterior paneling. And it fits on there quite nicely as you can see. It's not tied off on this particular load because I'm going to unload it and reassemble it. I'll be making some more videos of that. But it's a 120 square foot bug out bungalow. This video is to show how simple it is to collect water with a bug out bungalow, rainwater in particular. So I'm going to simulate the rain with a garden hose. And it's raining away. And I'm getting a little wet myself. Anyway, I think you can see the water is draining into that bucket. It's that simple. So four buckets would give you uh, pretty much complete water collection for the roof. This is a bug out bungalow, completely disassembled. This is a 120 square foot model. As it is now, it's uh, approximately 40 inches tall, 10 foot 10 inches long for the longest piece, and less than 5 foot wide. Weighs approximately 900 pounds. <laughs> 